Hi guys, this is Nick from Everything Electronic, and today I want to show you an if this then that button that I made. It uses a Raspberry Pi and a generic button. In this case though, I wanted to use a Staples Easy button, which I hacked apart for my projects, so that will run my things. So I can make it so that when I click this, because it's running my if this then that scripts, it can turn on and off my smart lights, or it could run a Roomba and vacuum up your floors. Whatever if this then that does, this can run. Okay, so let's see it work. Okay, so basically, when I hit the button, um, a Python script is running and checking the GPIO pins on the Pi. It is detecting when that button is being pressed. If it's being pressed, then it runs an if this then that script. So let's see it run. If I click the button, the lights turn off. Now, if I click the button again, the lights will turn on. And now they're on. So, Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video about my if this then that button that is using a Raspberry Pi. Now, if you want to make this yourself, I made a document on Google Docs, which is now public, and the link is in the description. Now, on a side note, if any one of you guys knows where I could get a hold of a Sony IBO, it doesn't matter what version, I would love to um, find one that is being sold for cheap so that I could make some videos and review it. If you have any knowledge of where I could get one or know of one that is being sold for cheap, um, that would be great and you can leave that down in the comments as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, click the thumbs up button and if you really loved it, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.